So today, we're going to switch speeds up and we're going to talk about demystifying the law of attraction. Yes, we're going to demystify. <laughs> but I've had this cane since I was in high school. I just had to pull it out because I hurt my foot. But we're going to discuss demystifying the law of attraction. Okay, so we're going to talk and have a little story first. Story time! The law of attraction. People is still rave. The law of attraction is so mystique still behind it. And, and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with the law of attraction. First and foremost, there's nothing wrong with the law of attraction. Okay, but let's give you a little journey here. Now, started off back in college. I started learning about seduction. Okay, so I started following all types of little seduction books, reading Don Juan Casanova, Casanova Don Juan, and um, Ovid, and I was reading books by um, Eben Pagan, by, by, by then I knew him as David D'Angelo on Double Your Dating. Um, I was learning a book, by, a great book by, I think his name is Robert Greene, called The Art of Seduction. I started just getting and understanding more about myself and how I become more seductive. And because as I become more seductive, I start um, putting more confidence in myself and who I am as a person. And I express that through the art of seduction. Now from seduction, I moved on to psychology because through because of uh, David D'Angelo, Eben Pagan, I hope I'm saying his name right, but I started learning more about NLP, some tactics, anchoring and things of that nature. So I started listening to Tony Robbins more because we figured out this process is that our minds work in processes and groups. We figure out patterns for how we're going to deal with situations or how we're going to learn. We have our own patterns for all these situations and it goes way more into it than that. But I started learning more about psychology and how the mind works and how people interact and how we influence people and by our words and our communication. Okay? And from there, it was just a natural prog progression into marketing, which is what I focus on today. Now, don't get me confused with the fact of thinking I've given up on seduction or that I've given up on, <clears throat> on psychology. Because both of those are part of marketing. Marketing is just another way of getting it. How do you get your message in front of more people to get them to do something that you want them to do? Okay, sales is offering something to someone that I already want. Just giving it to them. Marketing is getting in front of them, and that's just a very, very, very simplistic way of looking at it. Okay, very, very simplistic way of looking at it. So you see, all in all, what we're talking about is learning how to be attractive, right? Seduction is about being attractive. Psychology is learning how we are attracting people we're, we're attracting, okay, into our lives and how do we attract more different people. And the marketing or the, diff, the different experiences also with psychology that we attract into our lives. And the marketing is how do we attract, attract the right targeted group into our lives, okay? Now we're not talking about the things that I started learning when I was going back in, in seduction. When I was talking about the best smile. So you had the big cheesy smile like this. You had the James Dean cool smile. And you had the coy smile. <laughs> right? We had those different types of smiles I was trying to figure out. Then psychology, we started looking at people, start realizing through psychology that depending on a person, the way a person smiled at you would determine whether they really meant it or not. See, now when you smile, big full toothy, 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 uh, full tooth smile and your eyebrows rose a little bit, then you know they're being a real smile. That's a little something for you to recognize. When people give you that little smile like, without raising eyebrows, they're just smiling just to try to be nice or to, to blow you off. So the eyebrows must raise also, okay? And also learning through psychology that it's and when a person is actually truly smiling, it's impossible for them to have a negative thought. You can't smile full and be into your smile, have a true smile, and be thinking of a negative thought. So there is that little play in your mind, saying that the, the interaction between your body and your mind. Okay. And then we go into marketing. Marketing, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do a couple of different things. I'm either going to people are going to either move towards something I have, or move away from it. So how does that relate to smiling? 
See, you're either going to make people smile with what you have and they're going to like you, like what you have, or they're going to frown, they're not going to smile, and you're trying to, you're going to influence somebody things that make them not smile. Okay, just that's a little stretch there, but who cares? I'm getting my point across. So how does this all relate to the law of attraction? You see, the law of attraction is not something you have to necessarily study so much into. So stop that. You need to understand the concept behind the law of attraction, which is that you're going to attract the things into your life that are in tune with your vibration of what you are yourself. Okay, and where does that vibration come from? It comes from your own thoughts. Your thoughts influence your actions, and that therefore you influence everything that you attract into your life. That's it. You don't have to worry about that. They would just demystify the law of attraction. Here's what you have to focus on. I'm going to give you three things to focus on. Okay, we need to use the law of attraction. Look, put it like this. I don't understand everything about combustion engines and all that type of stuff for my car. But what I need to know how to do is how to make that process work, how to use that process. Okay? I don't know everything about how my digestive, when I eat a good meal, how my, my digestive juices break down and enzymes and all that stuff are extracted and it goes into the bloodstream. I don't know all that stuff. I just need to know that how it works. I need to know I put food in there. Okay? And it, it works. Okay? I don't even need to know how this camera works that I'm sitting and recording this on. What I need to know is this. How can I put this at the camera up best, hit play button, or hit the record button, record what I got to say, upload it, and that's it. How can I use this technology? So, if we're thinking of the law of attraction that way, how can I use the law of, uh, law of attraction so that, meaning that the things that I, the vibration that I'm on, I'm attracting more people into my lives, or different experiences into my life, how do I use that? First, here's the three things. First off, you need to know what you already attract in your life. Analyze your life and what you attract into your life right now. Second, what you want to do is analyze, what, uh, think about what it is you want to attract into your life. Okay, that's part two. And the third thing is, how do I make that shift from what I'm attracting now to what I want to, want to attract? And that's what we're going to talk about for the next few episodes. All right, this is D. Orlando Fortune. Today we're putting this on the storytelling over selling.com forward slash demystifying attraction. Demystifying attraction, which is going to be under. Okay, people, so if you found some value, I know you did. I know you did. <laughs> I know you found some value from this video. Then go ahead and share it with everybody, man. Let the world know that there's to try to demystify this attraction. How can we use it? Share it with the world. And please leave your comments. If you have any questions about what we were talking about or any other video, please leave your comments as always. And last but not least, I want you to subscribe to this channel. And I'll do some magic for you in your life. Talk to you later.